day our hometown burned, that was the day we enlisted. At last, we had something to believe in, something worth fighting for. None of us yet knew. We couldn't foresee what this war would cost us. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. Wind out of the northeast, clear skies, and uh, uh, uh. Uh. Huh? nap time's over. Come on, Raz. I wasn't napping, just resting my eyes. You gotta relax, man. You are way too freaking tense. Your hands are shaking. <laughs> so sack up, Commander. It's about time we get ready to roll out. Let's show those imps what's coming to them. Yeah. Shift in the wind. There. Huh? You getting those wind whispers again? Imperials incoming! All right, boys! It's go time! Squad E! Do you read me? Squad E! This is Commander Claude Wallace. Squad E! The Imperial forces are on the move, heading for your position! Ready to engage. Do not let them break through to the front line! We're counting on you! Roger that. Over. Good luck, Squad E. They won't advance until they're done shelling the area. We should have time to prepare. Kai, take a group to that southern hill and slow down their left flank. Raz, take two soldiers east and make some noise for me. You got that? Gotcha. Keep up or get left behind! At your command! Hoffin, roll out! Squad E, ready to engage. All right. Just remember your training. We can do this. Eliminate all Imperial hostiles. Let's stop their advance. Squad E, move out! All set, Raz? Just say the word, boss. I'm locked, loaded, and in freaking invincible Okay. First, we'll see how they respond to some infantry. Squad E, move out! Okay. Looks like everyone's in position. Finally. It's time. I'm their commander. It's up to me to get everyone out alive. Concentrate. Remember your training. We can do this. I can do this. Thank you. 
run home with their tails between their legs. Damn it, these assholes are in my way. I can't break through this. Why not? You're invincible, right? <sighs> are you really getting tripped up over some common foot soldiers? Why don't you ever stop and think? Oh, shut up. Just hurry and take them out, will ya? Thought you'd never ask. This won't take long. Now advancing. Didn't take much. No! All units, use your best judgment. Now advancing. traps. Go about time, Claude. Yeah, I know. Soldiers, forward. Now's our chance to take the offensive.
easy. Pretty good. Now advancing. Take much. Great job. I knew you had it in you. Busting out the tanks, huh? This one's all yours, Claude. It's our turn now. Fire up the engine, Miles. Yes, sir. Okay, the Hoffman's moving out. Destroy the enemy tank. Okay, moving out. Okay, moving out. damage.
<laughs> Anyone else want to try? Squad E don't take shit from nobody. Claude knows what I'm... Whoa, you okay? The flowers. Uh... Oh, yeah. They didn't stand a chance. Come on, man. You're supposed to be commander of the Ranger Corps. The commander still has a heart, same as a foot soldier. Rank doesn't make this any less painful to see. Oh, but crying over flowers? Even little girls have bigger balls these days. Maybe. But what matters is that their hearts... All right, I get it. Power of the heart, blah, blah, blah. Look, just go turn in your report already, will ya? Can't go get sloshed if we're stuck here on standby. Good point. I'll head to the command center. Hey, you do that. And tell the brass to send us tougher imps to fight next time, yeah? Operation Northern Cross. Sir, First Lieutenant Claude Wallace reporting in. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. We're just about to go over our next operation. You're late. I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission. Oh, Minerva. You're reporting too? That's Lieutenant to you, Claude. Don't get smart with me just because we share rank. I've got seniority. <clears throat> Sorry, Lieutenant Minerva Victor. <laughs> well, let's get started. Minerva, give us a situation report. Yes, sir. Three months have passed since we went to war. I won't sugarcoat it. They're steamrolling us. By this point, a third of our territory is under Imperial control. This is officially a crisis. If it's that bad already, we won't even be able to sustain a war effort. You're right. And the Empire's only gaining momentum. If this draws out much longer... The Federation's finished. Uh. If we fall, that's it for Europa. Nobody else could stand against them. The Empire would take total control. It'd be a fascist continent ruled with an iron fist. We can't let that happen. Europa's future depends on us. Which brings us to now. 
the top brass finally got off their seats and sent us a plan. A counterattack that can turn the war around in one fell swoop, ready to be put into action. What are the orders? We put all our force into one strike. Break through their defenses and hit them where they'll hurt most. Soldiers, supplies. We'll use all reserves we have to make a final push and capture one crucial enemy base. And we lucky few of the 32nd Armored Ranger Battalion have been handpicked as the vanguard. Couldn't ask for a better mission, sir. Which enemy base are we targeting? Think bigger. We take this base, and we take their will to fight. But how could any one target mean that much to... Wait, you don't mean... You always were a clever boy, Claude. I think you've got it. Our target is the Imperial capital of Schwarzgrad. Let's fight back! Operation Northern Cross. The year was 1935 EC. Two great powers vied to control the continent of Europa. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, a dictatorship known as the Empire. In the West, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their prosperity, its growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. With its overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, every battle driving them further back against the wall. Three months have passed. With seven-tenths of Europa falling to the Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater but the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. Forward, soldiers! This is the battle you've been training for! Operation Northern Cross begins now! We'll wipe those Imperials clear off the face of Europa! Our time has come! Forward, to victory! Countless soldiers fought and died on those fields, struggling to make their ideals a reality. Ordinary people, thrust into extraordinary circumstances, fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future. What follows here is a record of those brave warriors, a record of that battle against the dark. Based on the diary of one Claude Wallace, the commander of the Federation's Gallian Squad E, Chapter 1, The Battle of Fort Crest. Good news, Claude. HQ has awarded you with a medal. March the 10th. At long last, we have finally entered Imperial territory. The ferocity of the Federation counterattack caught the Empire off guard. 
Battle by battle, town by town, we're pushing back to front, with no signs of slowing down. The road to Schwarzgrad is a long one, running at least 1,500 kilometers from friendly territory into the heart of the Empire. But at the end of it lies our target, the capital city. We have a long trek ahead of us, but for now, morale is high. Everyone here believes in this operation. Everyone is praying it'll succeed. <laughs> I guess the Empire's not so tough after all, huh, Commander? Give them one good stomp and, and all of a sudden they're running off home. Huh? So are you gonna take a picture of everything we pass? Here, let me have a look at it. Uh, hey, Raz, come on! <laughs> Stop it, really! You're wasting my film! Wasting? No chance. What you got here is a picture of a future hero. Uh! You take one too, eh, Kai? Yeah, maybe. There you go. That's a keeper. Uh, damn it, Miles! The hell was that for? Freaking hurt, Quiet. man! I told him to stop the tank. Huh? Everything okay? The wind shifted. They brought out the big guns. A blast that big could wipe out a whole squad. Easy. Let's keep moving. A rendezvous point with Squad F should be nearby. <gasps> Flash. Thunder. That's the password. Next time, give us the response before you scare us shitless. Apologies. I didn't mean to frighten you. Follow me. Lieutenant Victor is waiting. Who? Oh, you mean Minerva. And you are... Corporal Crystal Ward, from Squad F. Indeed. I have the honor of answering to Minerva Victor, the strongest and smartest officer in the army. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> I assume you saw that explosion. Oh, we saw it all right. They must be packing serious heat. A 21 centimeter howitzer. Currently, our worst nightmare. It must have a range of at least 10 kilometers. We can't advance with that thing around. Just so. Our mission is to capture that cannon. Commander! Good work leading Squad E so far, Claude. Your slow pace, however, does leave something to be desired. We saw cannon fire, so we've been proceeding with caution. Keep your excuses. As I said before, the success of Operation Northern Cross hinges on our swift advance. Time is of the essence. I know. You try hustling with a huge cannon up your ass. Oh, wait! You already tried and failed. Down, boy. Claude, have you not housebroken your squad? The hell did you say? I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult my soldiers. They're people, not pets. Then I expect them to act like it. I'm not the one wagging my tongue. Soldiers who step out of line are often the first to die. Remember that, Sergeant Raz. Yeah, yeah. Hope you make it out alive too, Lieutenant. <laughs> um, Commander? Uh, there's a good view from the clearing. Maybe we could brief them there. Claude, come with me.
Allow me to explain your next mission. As you know, Fort Crest has a 21 centimeter howitzer that's blocking our advance. It might just look like an old castle turned into a makeshift fort, but they've stationed quite a few troops to defend the cannon. If we get too close, those turrets on the walls will mow us down. So when does our own cannon get here? That howitzer already destroyed it. We were outranged. Blown up already? How long will the replacement take? The bridge was destroyed too, so the artillery tractor can't proceed. It will take at least seven days. Though we do have plenty of infantry en route. It doesn't matter how many foot soldiers we get. Without a cannon, we're just waiting around. Not necessarily. Huh? Time is of the essence. We don't have a week to wait. You're as sharp as ever. Like he says, we can't afford to wait. We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. That's too reckless. Those turrets would fill us with more holes than golly and cheese. It's a dangerous mission, I know. But those are your orders. This isn't your local militia. This is what you signed up for when you joined the Edinburgh Army. You're right. We enlisted to crush the Empire. Not to commit suicide. Then allow me to clue you in on something. Crystal, tell them the news. Yes, ma'am. This morning, the Empire invaded Gallia. They've... invaded? I knew it was only a matter of time. What about our hometown? Is Hoffman okay? All we know is that the battle broke out near the border, at Citadel Girlandio. The Imperial Army, however, is being led by Prince Maximilian himself. Gallia's prospects look grim. Oh, damn it! Is there nothing we can do? If Operation Northern Cross goes as planned, the Empire won't have the luxury of staying on the offensive. Our only option is to complete the mission as soon as possible. Guess we've got no choice then. If our home's in the Empire's sights, then we've got to protect it! Yeah, let's do it for Gallia! Here are your orders.
Ready any time. Ready and waiting. down the Imperial camp. Capture their heavy artillery. Squad E, move out! I expected resistance, but they're tough nuts to crack. What should we do? We can't exactly rush in and kick the door down. We'll get routed if we don't have a plan. First, we need a solid foothold. Let's capture that camp. After that, well, guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Weapons free. Squad E, move out. Pay attention, Claude. Your leadership skills are going to be put to the test. That means getting the most out of your soldiers. Don't forget the basics. Yeah, good point. I'll keep that in mind. Find the rubble and engage the enemy. Okay, moving out. Enemy sighted. over it. 
Bullseye. Call the shot. for me. They might be soldiers after all. In my sights. Damn it, I'm pinned down. Call the shot. Okay, moving out. Okay, moving out.
advancing! Advancing! Okay. <laughs> 
Moving out. Moving out. Call the shot. Okay, then. <laughs> 